Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of Yavin Plays Dismantle Underworld. I am your CEO, your Chief Entertainment Officer, Yavin900, and we are going to pick up here where we left off last time on our Dismantle play. Let's go ahead and get the game started up here. Alright, and let's see, where were we? I'm trying to remember. Okay, so we just opened the evacuation site. I remember now. Alrighty. So let's go check that out. See what kind of trouble we can get into. Well, this looks promising. Could this be my way out? It's missing fuel though. I could try scanning for fuel cells using that link tower. All right. It's missing a fuel cell there. So it looks like we need to find four fuel cells. Look, there used to be a rocket right there. And one right here. Let's see. Can we get into this building? Nope, we need the expert lockpick. Alright, let's search this Jeep. Ooh, iron. We need the iron. Just look around here. There were several of these little launch dills. Alright, so. Let's come back over here to this link tower here. And let's see what it says about fuel cells. Scan for fuel cells. Four of them at the four corners of the island. Go figure. Still, we got to figure out how to get through this gate that's over here, blocking us off from over here. Let's see. So, we've killed one out of 88 monsters in this area. See, well, fuel cells are far away, but if they're intact, I should be able to get there. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright, let's come look in here. We can upgrade some stuffs. Do we upgrade our backpack? Or do we upgrade our iron? Or actually, 15 and 25, that's 40, and we have 62. We can actually upgrade both of these. So let's go ahead and upgrade our backpack because carrying more is always a bonus. Then we can upgrade our uh, baseball bat as well. Take our damage up to 48 on that. Let's see. We can upgrade our bag of blood, which gives us more uh, HP. Let's see. Or we can actually upgrade our tackle so we fish even faster. Which I would love to do more of the fishing. But I don't like doing because of how long it takes. Hmm. Actually, we can go ahead and do both of these. So let's go ahead and upgrade the tackle here. And let's upgrade the bag of blood. Because we need more HP. Because, you know, we all know exactly uh, how good at games I am. 
Alright. And I think we're going to hold on to everything else we have right now. And I'm still waiting for someone to tell me how to unlock these chests here. I still have not been able to figure that one out myself. Let's go ahead and break all this stuff down now that we can. Because we couldn't before. We didn't have enough attack power. <coughs> Excuse me. Come up here and drop this off. All right. So where do we want to go first? We know we got a fuel cell down there to the south. We've got one up here to the north. And we have unlocked that so we can get up to that one in the north. So let's go start with that, and we will fast travel over there instead of running it. So we're going to fast travel up to right there, which will put us right next to one of those fuel cells. Oh, wait. There's a skinless guy here. I hear him. I do not like the skinless guys. Let's see, actually, can we put one of those uh, things on here? Yes, let's put one of these on so when we go kill Skinless, then he'll stay dead. Alrighty. Actually. Let's see how many... Uh, monsters we have in this area to kill we have 97 all right and they're skinless was close. Alright, now that we killed old skinless there, let's come back over to the campfire, sit down, and oh, apparently we had a uh, level up there. Let's see. We can upgrade our fishing speed here, or we can double our gathering. Actually, let's go to build limit because that's a mechanic we haven't played around with yet, but we are going to need for that one quest, if you remember. Alright. So, now that we've installed that thing, old skinless there is still dead. That's what I like to see. Alright, now we need to go up to the north here. Die, doggo. There we go. Um, yeah, we're going to have to upgrade our fur hat, I believe. So we can withstand cold a little bit more. So let's go sit back over here at the fire real quick. Look at upgrading gear. Fur hat. Okay, now we need still to upgrade it again. And I still don't know where we find still, so... Let's see if we can get up a little bit further north now that we upgraded our fur hat. To keep us a little bit warmer. 
Okay. What does this sign say? Prison area. Oh. Okay. Prison area. What do we got around the prison? Well. This is the famous maximum security jail. I heard some pretty bad people were kept in here. Well, there's a Freddy Krueger wannabe. Ooh, hey. Campfire. We definitely want to light that one up. Let's see. Take a look at the map. How close are we... Okay, so that fuel cell is right over there on the other side of that one wall. Right here. Just curious. Okay, can't damage it with that one. Get the bat out. Okay, we need a lot more damage than we have. Alrighty. Alright, we can pour some stuff in here. Get that electronics. Get this iron right here. Alright. Now we need to figure out how to get in over here. Okay, that was pretty easy. Just go to the door. Funny how that works. And it looks like we got a quest diggy right here. And you know how I feel about the free XP. XP is amazing. What do we got here? The gate that leads further into the prison has been locked. Search for the key around other parts of the building. So, search for it to find a key. And we get 15k free XP. I, I, I like the sound of that. I don't know about anybody else, but... You know... Free XP is free XP. Oh, hey. We got a little radio here. So let's take a listen in and see what it says. The curfew has been extended. Conduct your travel and business during daytime hours only. Be safe. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. All right. It seems the key is at Curtisfield North Police Station. Situation got so bad that all the survivors were evacuated there. Alrighty. Didn't we find a key over there though? When we were there? Seems like we did. Alright, well, let's go ahead and clear out this area here so we know we've been there for one because you know I love my building and crafting supplies because we always need more alright Just break it all. Break it all down. We are the demolition man. Alright. Break all this down. bathroom because you know we don't need bathrooms anymore we just go wherever we're at right 
least it feels that way. You know, that is one mechanic that just has always puzzled me is why is it that in a lot of these uh, survival games you do all this stuff to uh, craft and survive and one thing you never have to do is go to the bathroom. Has anybody else ever noticed this? Just a strange little comment or not comment, but observation I've made. Look at that. We had the key. We did find it earlier. The gate's open, but eerie sounds river beat around the barren walls. So and that'll give us uh, another 6,000 XP. We just got 9k already. Alright, let's open this. We gotta go this way to, uh, get to the Freddy Krueger wannabe. Alright, let's go ahead and destroy all of this stuff. doing any cooking over here. You know, another thing too is we need to see about going back to our farm and check and see if our stuff is grown since we were there last. Alright, let's take care of Freddy Krueger here. Hey, ugly. He's too busy screaming at everybody to know that he's about to die. And of course we need to get through that wall there is where the fuel cell is that we need. At least the first one. And we are not going to be able to do it with this weapon, apparently. Let's go drop stuff off. Actually, we can go through here now. We got a booger thrower. Booger thrower. Or booger thrower. There we go. Get some of this stuff out of our way. See, we got another booger thrower and another Freddy wannabe up there. Let's see. We can get to them from there. Let's come down here though. Because I want to get rid of that so we can go through there. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and go this guy. It's not going to be a hard kill. Let me come down here and search this. And we have a new recipe. Which gives us more HP. Which is a bonus. Because I suck at video games. Alright, now let's go up here and kill the booger thrower. And the Freddy. Keep 
looking and exploring. Oh, hey, there's another campfire up here. Two campfires at the prison, not that far apart either. Interesting. Okay, let's... You know, I was just about to say this looks like a boss fight. Fuel cell inside the automaton. You know, it, it, it's times like this where my gamer instincts are saying you're about to be in a boss battle. Yep, there it is. I'm just curious, what is the... I have no idea what these plus ones here do. Got him. Get that fuel cell. Lord Almighty. That was a little rough. Just a little rough there. Don't know what those little plus one balls do or did or anything like that. But let's clear out the prison yard here. See what all goodies we can get out of here. More iron. Eh, scrap metal. Hey, there's some wood planks. Basketball bowl. Let's see. Uh, more iron. Can I? Nope. We cannot. Destroy those yet. Take out the workout bench, because I think that guy definitely worked out a little too much. Can we take out these yet? Oh, you can. And destroy the uh, big dumpsters now. All right. So we got our first fuel cell. And now we know that for each one, we're probably going to have another little, like, mini boss fight or something. Which is always fun. But, hey, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. And I'm sure I just totally aged myself with that comment. If you know what that comment was from, go ahead and leave me a comment see how many of y'all actually know. Kind of curious. It was definitely something I grew up watching. 
What's well, down and around here? Anything at all? Uh, just another one of those. And it says it was locked 853 seconds ago. Go figure. So we got a whole lot of materials that we can get up out of this place. Oh, something to read. Keep an eye out for groups of prisoners conversing. They might harbor treasonous intentions. Yeah, about that. Okay, this will be the faster way to get out of here. And here we are back at this spot. Okay. So, from here, we need to start heading back down. And actually, if we come back over to that link tower, we can do a fast travel. down here somewhere or have we found the yeah there it is okay and then we can run down and check on our uh, farm down there see if we got our stuff uh, grown up or not okay so back down this way Uh, any? All right, so we've killed 16 of 97 in this area. All right, we are going over here. Now. How many uh, guys are we missing over here? We're gonna put that on so we can see how many guys we've got left. 44 of 176 have been killed. I kind of like that little mechanic there. Knowing how much you've killed, how many until you've like completely depopulated an area. It's a really cool mechanic. Oh, these guys are dead. Here we go. Yay, we can harvest. Get the lettuce. Is that some dirters and engines? All right, come over here to inventory, get our seed bag out so we can plant some more. All righty, what do we need to plant? We definitely need more lettuce. So, at least two lettuce. Um, and we definitely need onions. So we are going to plant two onion. And two of those. Two lettuce, two onion. We will go from there. All right, take that back off. And we're gonna put that right there. Then we're gonna switch things up around here. Alrighty. What did that give us? Not back, okay. 
right. Any new upgrades that we can do? That we want to do? You know what? I am going to upgrade this, I see. And then we can upgrade that. So we've cleaned out the f farm. We need to go over here, I believe. So we are going to head off in a this early direction. Thinning the population out. When you get stuck, best thing to do, cut your way through. That's what my pappy always said. You're only as stuck as you can't cut through. Did that sound as bad to y'all as it did to me? Ooh, hey, another campfire. Might as well go ahead and drop some stuff off here while we are here. There's an odious smell lingering in this place. Get this rubber. There are some graves over there. Alright. That's the easy way to clear out a uh, place. Just blow stuff up. Alright. Let's turn in some grave robbers, shall we? Graves had something for us. Go ahead and drop stuff off there. Actually, is there any fishing here? No, I didn't see any. Hey, bugger's just throwing. Wait, did I just damage a tree? What? What? I just damaged a tree. Would you looky there? I can turn. I, I, I've turned into a lumberjack. All right, where are we at on the map here? Um, okay, we need to start heading kind of a northwesterly direction. But we are going to wait and do that in the next episode, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave me a like. Leave me some comments. Uh, let me know if you remembered that uh, comment from earlier, where that came from, where I aged myself. And uh, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Maybe check out some of my uh, other videos in, that you can click there on the other side of the screen. But for now, we are done for the day. And everyone, y'all have a great day and goodbye.